Hi, I'm Joe from Knight Performance Parts and Accessories, and I want to show you our controller. When you open the box, you get a sticker, instructions to come to this video, some written instructions here, parts and the stickers that go on the buttons, a choke lever if you need a choke, you can add that to your kit, and the control switches box. That's everything that comes in the box, and now we're going to install it on a vehicle. This is a 2007 Kawasaki Brute Force 750. The hour controller uh, fits on every ATV that has a controller similar to this. We have insulation videos or are making insulation videos for every vehicle that we can, so if you have a different bike, go to our YouTube channel and see if we have the install on your vehicle. If not, it's going to be very similar to this install. The first step is to remove your controller and anything else that's in the way of unplugging your controller. So underneath, most of all of them have two screws. Remove those two screws and your controller will open up and come off the handlebars. These screws will allow the entire um, brake lever to come off, screws on here, and two more over here. We'll take this plastic piece off, and then there's three screws that hold this plastic piece in. You're going to take those three screws out so that you can get down to the bottom of the wire harness here. So now we have all the plastics removed. I'm going to unplug the two connectors that are on the bottom of this controller. This connector, there's a little tab here lift up on that tab as you're pulling both tabs apart and they'll pop apart like that. This one helps if you have a screwdriver. You have to push down on this little part here and then push it out. And this has a choke lever. So you're going to need to reuse just the lever part itself and you need to remove the cable. So to do that, take this screw out. There should be a little clip here. Pop that clip out and then remove these from your old controller and your old controller will then come off and can be discarded. Next, we're gonna put the choke lever on. You're gonna want to remove all three of these screws and then put this bracket on here. Those three screws removed, take the bracket Use the long screw, it's gonna go through here. Don't screw that in yet. The shorter screw is gonna go right here. Okay. That one you could screw down and tighten down. These two short screws that you just removed are what holds your cable in. So we'll put those in here when we put the cable in. Next, I'm gonna route the wires down the same path that the original wires were. Slide them through. If you need to remove this, it just unclips. Make sure you plug it back into the same ones if you do, but you should be able to do that. All right, now I'm gonna hook up the choke lever. First, I'm going to take the lever, which you removed from your other bike, from your other controller, Put the cable back in, then I'm going to use the all right, cable goes in like this, then I'm going to use the bushing and screw that is supplied. The bushing goes inside the lever and the screw is what holds it in. Screw that down. And using the two short screws, next, this screw you never screwed in and that will allow you to open this up, pull up on it like I just did there, and then 
bend it back like this as though there was a hinge here. That'll keep everything nice and snug inside. Slide it over your handlebars. Next, you're gonna take this piece that comes in a little bag. It slides in on this side like this. I have to push up like I'm doing there to get that snug on there. And then this screw goes in here. And then the set screw that comes in that bag goes in right there. Hey, when you tighten this stuff down, make sure that your controller is straight. This is going to hold it in place so it never moves. Next, you can close this up. Put it back so it's straight and then push straight down. Don't force it, just kind of wiggle it around, push on the sides a little bit and you'll get it to slide together. Then tighten up that long screw that's on the bottom that you had taken out earlier. Right. That. Then you have two flathead black screws in this bag. One goes in the front right here, and one goes in the back just opposite this. Put those two screws in now. Now on to the wire. Right. So on this bike, these two connectors are from the OEM wire harness which would connect to this one. And then either one of these. This one goes to the black latching button on the controller, and this one goes to the yellow momentary button on the controller. So on this ATV, this plug is for the reverse override. So I'm gonna connect this one in here. So now the black latching button, you can turn it on and it'll just stay reverse override. This here on this bike is a horn. This connector, it's broken right there, but this connector we supply with the kit. This is the bag that your uh, button stickers comes in, your other screws, and this connector right here is the same type that plugs directly into our wire harness. So you can crimp these onto the wires that you get with your horn, and then you can use this connector to just plug it directly in. Or if you want, you can cut the wires and just push them together however you want to do it. But for right now, for this bike, that plugs into there. And now the yellow button is connected to the horn, which of course is on a wire harness that has a relay. So it's not directly connected through there. Next on this bike is the light bar. Uh, this wire harness had three wires. It had a red, a white, and a black. The red wire is not needed. So the end was cut off and it was very securely taped up so that that is not hooked up to anything. Um, you could remove that completely from the bike or you can do it like this. And on our controller, we have a black and a white spade terminal here. So these just get plugged in like this. All right. Next on this bike is the winch. So this was part of the OEM winch. This wire came up and had the switch mounted above the handlebars. All right. Those wires were cut and then these were crimped onto the wires. These are supplied with our kit. You see these barrel connectors in here? They are supplied with our kit. All right, so you can cut that winch switch off, put these on there, and then wire it up directly to our controller. These wires here come from our controller. So, the brown wire is your common wire, which on all of them is your red. 
that's your power wire. So connect those two. And then these wires, one is going to be your winch in, one is going to be your winch out. On this bike, the black goes to the green and the blue goes to the black. If you had that reversed, when you pushed the button for your winch, it would go the wrong way and you would just switch those two wires. So now all your wiring is hooked up. You can tuck this away, zip tie it very securely, make sure nothing is going to move around too much. Then you can put your plastics back on. That plastic there, the other plastic up here. You can put your brake lever back on. That'll go on right there. This had a brush guard, that'll go over that. And then on to the next step. All right, now we have all the plastics back on, the uh, hand guard on. The next step is to put the stickers on. You're gonna need a sharp knife, like a regular razor blade. But before we do this, clean your hands. My hands are way too dirty. Don't get the dirt on the stickers or on the buttons. Clean the buttons, clean your hands. All right, so I just cleaned the buttons, clean my hands. Um, of course, you could have put the stickers on in the very beginning before you started working on anything while everything was already clean. But we're gonna do this now. So I'm gonna use this in winch out button, uh, I mean sticker on this button here. And the easiest way to do this, because these button, these uh, stickers are small, is to bend this a little bit and then take your knife, get it behind the sticker, put your finger on top of the two of it now. Now you got it off and it's just stuck on your blade a little bit there. All right, make sure that's clean. Put your sticker on. Just like that. All right. Uh, next, on this bike, the yellow button is the horn. So you got a little horn symbol right here. So same thing, I'm gonna bend this a little bit. Get my blade behind it. Okay. Right in the center there. Got the horn button. This is my reverse override. I have a sticker that says RO. Um, my starter button. I have a starter symbol here. I have a light switch I could put on if I want. I have the speaker symbol, which on one of our other ATVs is this button there. Um, I have the fan button, which I know a lot of guys have, and they're gonna want this button for your fan. Uh, heated grips, if you use this button to turn on and off your heated grips. You got this fire symbol there. Uh, I know somebody has NOS they asked for, the rocket symbol this button here and of course you have the really awesome night logo and scroll innovations logo which you should definitely put anywhere on here because it looks awesome that's it let's test it out real quick turn the key on you got your on off your kill switch here right so not going to start it but you could hear that that's going to start it got your light switch in the off position then you got low beam high beam and your light bar, and that lights up right there. All right, you got your winch out, winch in, you got your horn, you got the reverse override. Now it's just locked in there, so when I'm plowing, I got reverse override just staying off. And I got my USB port. So I'm gonna take my phone out of my safe box, and I can plug this in and grab a. Uh, charger cord. I got a charger cord right here. I'll unplug real quick. This is the battery backup in the back of my safe box there. And just to show you, obviously this isn't long enough and I don't have it mounted where it should go. It would go up here or something. 
plug this in like this. Phone's charging, you can see right there. So you got your USB port on there. And uh, that's it. We have a mount coming out for this. So you can mount your safe box right off the handlebars there. That's it. I'm ready to go riding. <laughs>